that. To explain the interference pattern in the double slit experiment, we use wave analysis resulting in a probability distribution. There's no other alternative explanation for interference. So probability of a party of a light showing up in the trough is near zero, but at a peak is very high. That's what that's what the model does. Feynman expanded this concept to say we must consider every path a particle can take from moving from one point to another. So with the electron bubble experiment, double slit experiment, we must consider that the electron could go through one slit or another slit, every possible path it could take. Not only that, the particle takes all possible paths simultaneously. That's hard to get your hand around but not with the same probability. So we call this, uh, and it is called, Feynman's sum over history. So the sum over history is the sum over all possible ways it could, it could get there. I know history is, didn't sit well with me, but that's what we would call it. So. The approach provides us with a model that calculates the probability that an electron in the double slit experiment will land at a particular point on the screen. And it is used extensively in analysis of elementary particle scattering. So you'll see on the next slide here, well, a couple slides, what, what that means. So here is an example of Feynman paths. And all that he's trying to show in all of this is that his sum over histories of all possible paths, which is the top yellow line there of a particle degenerates into the classical uh, <coughs> description of that path in the simplest case. So you notice how the first yellow line goes up a little and then the next one down. But if you, if you decompose it into to the right and up, 